Sounds All Around by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by Anna Cherniova. Snap your fingers, clap your hands, whistle, clatter some pans. You're making sounds. Crinkle crunch through dry leaves. Splish splash in a puddle. Make happy sounds, sad sounds, scary sounds, mad sounds. Shake a can of marbles. Shake a can of cheese puffs. Shake a can of pencils. Your sounds fill the air. Make more sounds. Woof. Sing. Talk. Hum. These sounds come out of your mouth, but they start in your throat. Your vocal cords. When you breathe out, air passes from your lungs through your larynx, which vibrates. The vibrations then travel through several air pockets, which change the way they sound all to create your voice. Feel your throat as you sing, talk, or hum. Your fingertips tingle because your vocal cords shake to make sounds. They shake back and forth very fast. This is called vibrating, and that makes the air around them vibrate. These vibrations move through the air in waves called sound waves. Now be quiet. Feel your throat. Your vocal cords are still. They're not vibrating, so there's no sound. A look inside an ear. Sound moves through the ear and strikes the eardrum. Sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, sending the bones in the middle ear into motion. You hear sound. You can't see sound waves. But when they reach your ear, tiny bones in your ear vibrate. Then you hear the sound. Beating a drum makes it vibrate, and then the air around it vibrates. These vibrations ripple through the air. They travel from the drum to your ears, and you hear the sound of the drum. Long ago, people used drum sounds to send messages. They beat high sounds, low sounds, fast sounds, and slow sounds. These sounds traveled through the air from village to village. Different drum beats sent different messages, such as rain clouds are forming, or a new leader has been chosen. People still use sounds to send messages. Clapping hands say, good job. A knock on the door asks, is anyone home? And the siren on a fire truck means get out of the way. Animals use sounds to send messages too. A hen clucks to call her chicks. A ruffed grouse makes a drumming sound to attract a mate. And a howler monkey roars to keep other howlers out of its territory. A howler's roar is one of the loudest animal sounds in the world. No wonder other howlers stay away. In the dark, a bat avoids an object in its flight path by making high squeaking sounds. Its sound waves hit the barn. The sound bounces back. These echoes warn the bat to change direction before it bumps into the barn. A bat finds food using echoes too. Sound waves bounce off insects. In total darkness, a bat can locate 600 insects an hour by listening for the echoes. This is called echolocation. Sound waves travel through solid ground as well as air. A snake has no ears. To hear, it puts its head on the ground. A bone in its head feels the sound vibrations. They warn the snake that an enemy, maybe a mongoose, lurks nearby. Sound waves travel through water, too. 
A mother whale can find her baby by sending clicking sounds through the water. When the sound waves bump into her calf, echoes bounce back. The mother whale listens. She hears the echoes and knows where her baby is. Whales and dolphins locate objects by sending sounds through the water, then listening for echoes. People use a device called sonar to send sounds in water. When the echoes bounce back, people know how deep the water is. They also discover where submarines, shipwrecks, and schools of fish are. Sounds are an important part of our lives. Some sounds, like music, please us. Some sounds, like a jackhammer, annoy us. Some sounds are quiet. Some are loud. How can you measure sounds? How much you weigh is measured in pounds. How tall you stand is measured in inches. How loud you yell is measured in decibels. Whisper. Whispering measures only about 30 decibels. Talk. Talking measures about 60 decibels. Yell. A loud yell measures about 85 decibels. Rustling leaves measure only 20 decibels. A vacuum cleaner, 70 decibels. Loud music, 100 decibels. A jackhammer, 130 decibels. A jet engine, 140 decibels. A space rocket is very loud. It measures 200 or more decibels. Some loud sounds can really damage your ears, so you should be careful about protecting your ears around loud noises. Luckily, there are many ways to protect your ears, like covering your ears when a fire truck or ambulance drives by, or making sure you don't play music too loudly. People who are close to airplanes or use jackhammers have to be even more careful about protecting their hearing. We live in a world of sounds. Telephones ring, thunder rumbles, water gurgles, birds chirp, Bees buzz, friends talk, and we laugh, cry, hiccup, and sigh. Sounds are all around. Keep listening.